Hi guys, Doug here from Newswire. You've heard us say that uh, social is the new link building and uh, we've been looking for a way to make social sharing and uh, getting social syndication making it a little easier for you with your Newswire account. We've come across something that I think is really special and I want to take just a few minutes to show you how to use it. Uh, we're talking about a site called OnlyWire and uh, OnlyWire is a subscription service. It's uh, rather inexpensive but it's a, su a, sub a subscription service that allows you to enter in up to 50 different social networks and automatically, I'm going to show you how to automatically uh, link that to your Newswire account so that you can be doing your social sharing from Newswire automatically with a one-time setup. Uh, it's really rather inexpensive. You know, it's possible to do this by hand, and a lot of you have been doing, you know, a varying degree of uh, good work by making social links by hand and by uh, maybe you've been using uh, IFTTT or maybe you've been using Hootsuite or something like that to help you automate it. But uh, that still takes quite a bit of work and it's still been pretty slow going for a lot of people. So uh, let me show you how for a relatively small amount of money you can uh, do this by yourself. Now don't worry about taking a bunch of notes because I've made a cheat sheet with all the links and step-by-step -step instructions. So I just want this video to kind of give you an overview and maybe a reference when you go back and, and try and actually do this for yourself. So the cost of this is going to be about 75 bucks. Um, only wire costs uh, $49 a year and then I'm going to show you how to get uh, a VA to do all the work for you for 25 bucks. So for 75 bucks you're going to be set up with 50 social accounts. You probably only have three or four right now. Maybe you've got a Facebook, a Google Plus, maybe a LinkedIn, maybe one or two others. But I'm going to show you how you can get 50 different accounts and link them all together for 75 bucks, and it'll be good for a year. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do is to go to um, Google. You're going to need a new Google account, a new Gmail account, that is. So uh, you're probably logged into Google right now. Or you probably have it on your computer. So uh, go over here and uh, go to your settings and we're going to sign out of uh, sign out of uh, Gmail and you're going to make a new account. You're going to go to create a new account and uh, just follow the uh, the links there or the uh, the fields there to make it a new account. There is zero reason to hide your identity. So go ahead and use your real first name, your real last name, your real phone number and use your current Gmail account as a as a recovery account. Uh, the only reason we're doing this is to have a separate place to manage it and also we're going to have to give our VAs access to a, a Gmail account to get this done. So if you happen to have an old Gmail account that you're not using for anything else that has nothing sensitive in it, you can kind of skip this step and, and just give that coordinate to your VA. But for most of us, let's just go ahead and, and fill out a, a new Gmail account. Uh, as soon as we make that Gmail account, we're going to go back to OnlyWire and uh, don't worry the links uh, in my little cheat sheet but let's go to OnlyWire and we're going to go to the get started link and make a new account here now the account that we want is this forty nine dollar a year account if you'd like you can uh, do it with the free account for a trial but that's really only good for seven days so if you're not quite sure you want to do this go ahead and do the free trial account you can always upgrade it but uh, basically you're going to want to do the forty nine dollar a year account so uh, go through there and uh, fill that out uh, use a username, use the email address from the uh, Gmail account that we just created. Again, you're going to have to give your uh, VA access to this account, so that's why it'd be a good idea to use uh, an account there that, that uh, somebody else can have access to. So uh, just go through and, and fill that out, and uh, then as soon as that's done, you're going to uh, come to <clears throat> uh, you know come to this little page, which is your dashboard. The first thing you're going to want to do. Uh, once you get to the dashboard is you're going to go down to uh, your networks and uh, this is mine and so I'm already logged in so it's got a couple things in it but you're going to basically go to add network now this is the work that your VA is going to do for you mostly he's going to create these accounts uh, you see all the different kinds of accounts there are here uh, he's going to create one of each one of these accounts for you you probably already have uh, for the account you're going to be want, wanting to work on. You probably have a Facebook account, you probably have 
something you probably have a Google Plus account you need to fill out one account uh, to be able to continue on so use the account that you'd most like to use now another thing we ought to talk about is is who you're gonna do this for so if you're in the habit of writing mostly for yourself you can use your own Facebook account and uh, your own Google Plus account and that kind of thing if you're writing on behalf of one customer more often than another uh, that's who you you may want to do this as a business account and and use those coordinates so again the concept is going to be that uh, whatever you write we're gonna link what you write back to these 50 social networks so if you're writing on behalf of a customer that you don't want to go to your own Facebook account then you better use their Facebook account and do something uh, different that way but at any rate enter one of these accounts uh, you don't need to do a bunch of them but just at least one of them for right now and uh, and then we're going to go from there. So if you have a Facebook account you want to link, uh, you just go to home on your Facebook account and basically just copy the URL of your Facebook there and that's really all there is to that. Uh, it's pretty simple. The next thing we're going to do as soon as we have at least one account set up in here is uh, we're going to go to Newswire. So let's go back to our Newswire account and uh, you can really go to basically any page on your Newswire account and uh, let's for example here we'll just go to my Newswire and we're going to be looking for the RSS feed so at the bottom of every page of Newswire you're going to find this little RSS link right here so once we open up that RSS link and by the way if you haven't used this before it's going to really kind of expand your mind as the possibilities as you go through this thing you're going to probably think of three or four other things that you can do with this RSS link so once you're at this RSS link and it's just uh, I'll, I'll put the link in the channel or in the uh, cheat sheet again for you if you don't want to try to remember these things but once you're at the RSS page you're gonna to have to make that decision we talked about a little while ago and that is am I writing on behalf of myself do I want to share everything that I write you know on my personal Facebook channel and everything like that uh, through this uh, uh, only wire account or do I want to set up something separate for each company that I write for and this is where that decision really comes in so if for example I want to uh, have everything that I write as part of this feed I'm going to go to the writer profile page I'm going to expand it here by hitting the little plus mark and then I'm just going to look for my name so I'll just uh, scroll down till I find my own personal name uh, let's see here and uh, let's say I want to do it on behalf of uh, B Brown it happens to be Barbara Brown I go to this XML link right here I'm going to click on that and this link right here at the top when you click on that is the link that we want to copy and paste we're going to need that link a little bit later on so let's make a copy of that link if you're not sure exactly what you want to do and you think you maybe want to do it on behalf of a company uh, you can copy that link and then you can go back here and go to company profile pages so uh, let's assume that you've already made a page for your company if you haven't you need to back up and do that and let's assume that uh, Boulder Band is your is your uh, company that you want to write for you want to create a, a network a social syndication network for Boulder Band you'd basically do the same thing just hit on this little XML link over here and copy and paste uh, the link that comes up there that's the RSS feed that's particular to that company so again you want to decide if you want to have that RSS feed be from your own personal profile or from a company profile so uh, as you probably already know you're entitled to make uh, you know basically as many uh, individual profiles as you like if you want to have a different profile for different companies you can do that if you want to have different company pages uh, that's how it's just doing it uh, make a new company profile for everybody that you regularly regularly write for and go back and find the RSS RSS feed for that so again once we decide how we're going to do this or what we want to do it for we're going to find the RSS feed and we'll copy that and then uh, we'll paste that somewhere because we'll be using it later so we'll go back here and we've already added a network and um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the feeds so we'll decide on what feed we want we'll hit the feeds there and uh, that's where we add our feeds so this one is already set up to feed the whole newsroom of, of Newswire but we're gonna add a feed here and then uh, 
we'll just put in, we'll copy and paste that little company profile that we already had there. Uh, we'll add a feed and continue. We can use this little feed validator here to make sure that it's a, it's an active feed. We'll just paste that in. Bang, it comes up valid. No surprise there. So if you've copied and pasted it correctly, that's what will happen. So anyway, we have that uh, new little feed there and we'll just close out of that and keep going. So what we've done now is we've set up a, uh, we, we've created an OnlyWire account. We've told it to take everything that is posted to this company page and right now it, all it is going to do is post it to the uh, Facebook page that we added a little bit earlier. Uh, remember we, we put this Facebook uh, address in there, bang, right there. So now what, uh, what do we do to go ahead and get a whole bunch of new people in there and get a whole bunch of uh, of uh, great new stuff. Well, uh, we're going to go to Fiverr, and um, I'll uh, I'll put this in. Uh, this is the little cheat sheet I'm making for you. But these are the Fiverr addresses that I like, and I've gone through and researched this, and I've even used a couple of these uh, for myself and made sure that they're they're valid and they work well. So uh, I like this one right here. This is uh, this is the address that I've used and uh, it ended up costing 25 bucks. I took the extras and, and used the extras with it. Uh, the extras are, you probably can't see them on this page right here, but uh, the extras in this particular gig are five bucks to connect the networks up. So he's gonna make them for five dollars, he's gonna make 45 of them for five dollars, he's gonna connect them to your OnlyWire account for another five bucks. Uh, for 10 more bucks, he's gonna add the name, address, and phone to each one of those uh, those different profiles he's going to make and uh, for five more bucks he's going to add the the website in so for a total of 25 bucks this guy's going to make me 45 different links 45 different social sharing accounts that is and he's going to link them back all to that uh, that only wire account so the bottom line is uh, once I've done this and once I have this whole thing going I'm going to have an only wire account that has uh, a thousand monthly submissions and that's going to be basically 50 per article that I write so I could write 20 articles on this plan for 49 bucks every time I write an article it's going to kick them out to 50 different social networks and uh, just think of the links and the possibilities there uh, from there obviously we need to build some following between you know behind each one of those social accounts and we'll talk about that another time in another video so I'd strongly encourage you to build an only wire account and start your social syndication you will be amazed as we were when we started doing testing on this at how effective it really is to uh, syndicate this many times all of your stuff uh, keep writing your great articles and we'll talk to you again real soon